Hello again. You may have seen my video on sinus self-massage, but a viewer asked me to do a self-massage more specifically for colds and flu and just feeling under the weather. So let's try that today. Try, if you can, to take a deep breath in. Of course, if you're congested, you may be only able to breathe through the mouth and that's okay. But breathe in. And let it go. Let's start on either sides of the bridge of the nose, up here, pressing in. That feels so good. So sort of squeezing the bridge of the nose together. And just relax there and take a couple deep breaths. Enjoy the pressure on that area. and start massaging down either side of the nose. So I'm just making little circles. Don't press hard, it's just gentle. Use whatever pressure feels good to you. But overall, a little more easy going because you might have some inflammation, and congestion, and you don't wanna hurt yourself. So on either sides of the nose here, of course, please keep a box of tissues handy. <laughs> Should have said that at the beginning. Okay, just think about loosening that all up. I'm going under the nose a little bit here. Okay. And let's massage our temples. So first let's put some nice pressure inward. My fingers are pressing towards each other. And here you can use a little more pressure if it feels good. And circles. Mm. This is so relaxing for so many reasons, whether or not you have a cold. Okay, so I'm starting to go around the ear um, along that C sort of seashell-shaped temporalis muscle that goes around the ear. So let's just do some nice circles, good firm pressure. Just getting things loose and relaxed. Okay, behind the ear here. Working your way. to just under the mastoid process, which is that sort of uh, hard bone bump that sticks out behind your ear. Go right underneath that, and we'll start targeting some lymph nodes to see if we can't get a little activation, a little drainage happening here. Okay, so keep going down. There I am. And we're going to go right under the jawbone, right under. And now, real gentle, gentle, light, light circles. And if there are any swollen lymph nodes or anything feels really tender, back off or just skip that area. Okay, Just gentle stimulation right under along the jawbone. And when you get to the middle, you want to give this some attention here, this part right, right under the chin there. So you can use your fingers like this or your thumbs like this, and just do a little circular type massage. Let your jaw be loose. You might want to open your mouth a little bit to make sure it is. Okay, let's go for that third eye. So kind of right there in between the eyes, in between the eyebrows, you can press. You can use one hand, two hand. You can use your thumb if you want to do it that way. Right there, and that's a really nice place to put a good, firm pressure, as long as that feels good. It's a great point. Take a few deep breaths there. Hmm. Feel 
Feel that just release your head, release your face. And from there, I'm gonna take my pinching fingers and just get on the bottom and the top of the eyebrows. And we're just gonna pinch that skin along the eyebrow ridge. Pinch, you can even pull up or pull out a little bit if that feels good, just to stretch and to get things moving all along. I'm going little bits at a time. all the way out. Breathing in. Long exhale. Do some forehead massage. Nothing super technical here. Just moving the tissue. What you don't want to do is be sliding over the skin, you want to actually pick up the skin, pick up the connective tissue and give yourself a good massage like this. Okay. Go to the side. Just sort of cover all areas of the forehead, thinking about moving things through. Give yourself a nice brush off. And when we're sick, and especially when we're congested, we tend to sort of curl up. We're on the couch, we're in the bed, we're coughing a lot. Everything is sort of rounded forward like this. So we're gonna do a little pectoral massage just to try to open up the chest a little bit. So you're gonna Go right onto the side of your sternum, that breastbone there, with four fingers, and then just press in and outward, and you're gonna be going up on a diagonal towards your shoulder. Just to open that up nice and slow. Let the tissue take you here. You're not forcing it, and you're not sliding. You're just allowing it to release. If you want to add a little, you can do an arm circle, bringing it out to give it a little bit more of a stretch. Let's do one more. And of course, you can do as many as feels good for you. I'm just keeping it to two for the sake of the video. Breathing. Letting it take you, opening up. And let's go to the other side, other side of the sternum, right off of it and in and out. You could do some movement to help it along, to stretch, shoulder rolls, turning your arm out. That's all great to help if it feels good. one more time and if you want when with your one more time you could do a slightly different area you could do right up under the clavicle or you could do a little lower up under the clavicle is good too because you get some lymph nodes there okay roll the shoulders back Deep breath in and notice if your breathing is any different from what it was before we started the massage with our deep breath at the beginning. Take a deep breath in now and notice. Can you breathe a little easier? Does there feel like there might be a little less pressure in the head and the sinuses? Let me know in the comments below. 
Let me know if this worked for you or if you have any other ideas of how to do some self-massage to help with cold and flu symptoms. If you liked it, give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for some more. I can't wait to see you again. Feel better.